Hello, I'm Michael Sean. This is the first time publicly on Free Range Texan that I would like to open up and share with you the real story of what the last four weeks or so has been like. In the last few days of October of 2020, I became COVID-19 positive. As usual, <laughs> I don't always do things the way most other people do. I'm 66 years old, you see, and I endeavor to keep a number of physical situations in check. Personally, I juggle type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, thyroid issues, and the beginning stages of glaucoma. My wife and I discussed that COVID-19 probably would be a pretty rough ride for me. Turns out, it has been. Here's the good news. And here's the reason why I'm coming on this podcast and telling you what I'm telling you. I came within six to eight hours of being ordered to the ER and put in the hospital some weeks ago. But I have and always have had great people, great doctors, and some remarkable equipment set up in my home. I was told that if I didn't have my respiratory numbers under control by morning, I was to be taken to the ER and admitted to the hospital. A lot of my prayer warrior friends didn't think that was a good idea, and frankly, neither did I. And so the battle began. Now, more than a week or two later, I have not been in the hospital. Not that you shouldn't go there if you need to go. But it has really been a long and difficult journey. But here's where we're at. Three weeks ago, I couldn't have put three words together. I am so much better. And I'm going to be okay. Promise. Thank you to all of the people who cared about me and brought me through all of this including my wife, Kathy, who's just recovered from COVID after about a two-week battle. Believe you me, we were something to behold. But then, there's all my dear friends and listeners on the Free Range Texan. So many of you had noticed that I had fallen off the radar and now it's time for episode 54. So here's the game plan. I'm getting better almost daily, but I'm quite frankly not anywhere near capable of hitting the production on anything that resembles the Free Range Texan podcast, blog article, Facebook, YouTube, all of it. Simply put, our podcast is going on hiatus, and what that means is that probably in February or March of 2021, you know it is dicey to predict the future nowadays, we will return healthy and anxious to reconnect with our listeners and readers again. This episode 54 is to let you know where we're at and then I'll let you know that I'm okay. Just riding a slow horse into town. There is one thing that all of you who haven't subscribed to our podcast can do for us yet. If you would subscribe now, wherever or however you listen, then when we manage to return, 
with what will be Free Range Texan, episode 55, you'll get a notification. My dear friends, I love all of you, and I'm getting better every day. I just have these words of advice, though. Do not let yourselves be in a position to get this virus, especially if you are close to my age. My experience is that it gets a lot worse before it gets better. But if you have gotten it, this is from my heart to yours. It's important for me to tell you to hang in there and fight for every breath. Do what you've got to do. Follow your doctor's orders. Because we all need to meet back here on the other side when we can saddle up and get ready to ride. Adios for now, my friends. Until we're riding on the Free Range Texan podcast again.